CS Florence, Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic, uh, Right Honorable Speaker Moses Wetangula, uh, the leadership present here, especially the leadership of the church and my colleagues and the leadership uh, represented here, Wananji Wote Wakericho, Na Wote Ambao Wako Hapa, Aswa, Wale Ambao Walifiwa Na Familia Zao, Amjambo. Amjambo tena. Bwana asifiwe. Mwishimiwa naibu wa rais. Kikao hii ya leo siyo kikao cha kawaida. Ni kikao cha usuni. Na aibu pia. Kwa sababu tuko hapa kuomboleza ndugu zetu. Kwa kifo ambacho. Ama vifo ambayo, ambayo tungeweza kuzuia. Na kama taifa, kamba tunge singatia sheria vile ilivyo, atunge kwa hapa kuomboleza wale waliofiwa. Mimi kwanza kwa niaba yangu, kwa niaba ya wizara wa, ya barabara na uchukuzi, na kwa niaba pia ya familia yangu, ningependa kutoa rizala za rambi rambi zangu kwa familia ambao walifiwa, na pole zangu kwa wale ambao wako kwa mahospitali tofauti. Mheshimiwa naibu wa rais ajali nyingi sana zimetokea za ki, kila haina. Lakini mara nyingi ajali ambayo inatokea inahusu wale ambao wako ndani ya gari. Tofauti ya ajali hizo zingine na hii ni kwamba unapata watu ambao aswa hawakuwa kwa msafara yoyote ama wako ndani ya gari lolote na wao wameathirika kupitia jambo kama hili. Na siwezi sema ni ya mara ya kwanza. Katika soko ya Kabiringo ajali ilifanyika hivyo hivyo tu huko Bungoma karibu na Webuye na ikapotukapoteza mwaka jana wananchi 44. Mwaka huu ikafanyika vile vile ulisikia mheshimiwa Didmas Barasa amesema na tukapoteza watoto 17 kwa sababu ile lori ilipopoteza ile e, mwelekeo kwa sababu ya uh, uh, za uh, breaks ika, ikaangukia basi ya watoto na ikalalia ukiona uzito kwa sababu nilikuja hapa Jumamosi ukiona uzito ya ile lori ya uh, uh, trailer ambayo ili, 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 ilileta ajali hapa ilianguka kichwa ikakatika dereva akakuwa safe sasa ile trailer ya nyuma ndio ilienda kwa mwendo wa kazi kwa soko bila kupatia watu nafasi na ikalalia na ikaua watu wengi. In, in fact, ilikuwa ni bahati kidogo tu uh, Mungu alisaidia ingekuwa zaidi. Tungekuwa tumepoteza watu zaidi ya moja. Kwa sababu kidogo ile trailer iangukie petrol station. Kwa sababu ilikuwa too close. In fact, actually it went to the petrol station. But I could conquer the tank. Kama ingekonga hiyo eh, penye natoa mafuta, pengine hivi sasa tungekuwa hapa kwa janga ambayo ingekuwa ni was kuliko yenye ilifanyika. Mheshimiwa naibu wa rais uh, wizara yangu ina usiana na yale ambayo yafaa kufanywa kuhakikisha tunapunguza mambo ya ajali. Na ingawa wizara hii iko na jukumu hilo, jukumu sio ya wizara peke yake. Sio ya polisi hata kama wako idara ya interior na ningependa kutoa rambi rambi ya waziri Kindiki ameenda kazi nyingine huko North Eastern na amenituma na rambi rambi zake sisi tunashirikiana kufanya kazi hiyo lakini jukumu aswa ni kwa sisi sote ambao ni watumizi wa barabara aswa madereva na wale wanatumia barabara na tulipoingia katika ofisi nime nimetangaza a number of things that need to be done and your excellency under your leadership under one of the president you have insisted and you have told me that we must do everything possible to sort out the issue of road accidents. I know many of my colleagues here have said that I should do the way uh, my predecessor, the late uh, John Michuki, did. But, you know, we can't use another period of time strategies to sort a problem that is affecting us today. We want to apply different strategies, but with vigor, with commitment. I know many Kenyans, they like drama. They like seeing their minister in a marketplace chasing a matatu, uh, holding something. 
so that pictures are taken and so forth. I think Kenyans are more interested in the results and the things and strategies we have put in place, Your Excellency, in the fullness of time, and I hope it will be soon, we will know and see that the question of road accidents, which are actually called road accidents, but they are not accidents. Some of them are avoidable. Road accidents will be only road accidents in the Republic of Kenya, so that we do not see catastrophes like these ones. Your Excellency, I want to make another restate uh, the public pronouncements that are made, and thank you for giving me a few minutes to say so. Number one, Your Excellency, is that we have decided as a ministry that we will issue new regulations and we will need support of Parliament. And when the regulations get to Parliament soon, Your Excellency, we want all commercial and PSV vehicles and school transport vehicles must, the word is must, be fitted with dashboard cameras and vehicle telematics. All vehicles that will carry the people of Kenya and commercial vehicles on the road must be fitted with dashboard cameras and vehicle telematics. Vehicle telematics, Your Excellency, will have GPS system showing where a vehicle will be at any particular time. It will have a black box recorder that will be transmitting the speed of every vehicle at any given time. It will show the location of that vehicle. It will show when and who maintained the vehicle. And it will show where the vehicle was serviced and who serviced the vehicle. That dashboard must have a link to the NTSA dashboard and the minister or responsible for transport and other ministries, including your office and of the, of the president, must be at a touch of a button, be able to show where a vehicle at any given time will be. All the circles, all the circles that will manage the matatus and public transport and the Ministry of Education included for carrying uh, uh, vehicles, all of them must provide the application so that Your Excellency who can give some yako matatu in Eldoret na inabebwa na Eldoret Sako anaenda Nairobi ukienda kwa app ya Eldoret Sako app you can click and click the vehicle it will show you where the vehicle is at any particular time and the speed that vehicle is carrying <laughs> to mesema pia every every vehicle must have a camera inside the vehicle that camera will be fitted in, fitted in front na camera ingine itakuwa nyuma itaonyesha nani anendesha gari nani ameka gari nani ana na gari hiyo inaendeshwa kwa njia gani na dereva ni nani at any particular time honorable michuki as you've said pushed for speed governors kipchumba murkomen is saying all your vehicles will have these cameras and there is no excuse i have nimeona prices ya kila camera kuweka hii mambo yote nimesema IPT 1130 na hiyo itaka throughout the life of the of that vehicle so if we are going to spend only 30000 and below to fit this equipment so that we can monitor this vehicle your excellency let it be we will have been able to save many lives number 2 we have going to issue the directives it's already part of the law but we are going to issue a directive all road reserves will not have markets we will remove all markets all markets from the road reserve it is not whether we will do it we will do it the only difference is that because we care about hustlers to na mini hustlers when you wanafanya biashara na hii markets your excellency <laughs> you know sio kidogo ni karibu 1000 unajua niko na story ya kidogo mwaka jana mwaka hii kama ine tano and i think ps korir is aware about this story wakati walitaka kutoa watu kwa karatina market kena uh, rais mwenye alienda kuna mtu alienda kustaki dg wa kena siku hiyo nilikuwa hapo mwenyewe kwa airport president was we were launching the uh, plan to to new york ule mtu tu alienda kumwambia uh, sijua alimwambia nini president president was so angry akasema akaambia dp yake na huyu ps mwende mvute kasi dg kena 
Sasa hiyo excellence watu wa Kenya wakaogopa kutoa watu kwa market. Karatina unajua iko na market hapo. Lakini watu bado wanataka kuja barabara. Hii kitu sio ati ni shida ya 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 ya, ya mali moja. This is going to be a big political conversation. Wabunge hapo wanaongea wanasema tuokoe watu wetu, tuokoe watu wetu. Wananchi wanasema mtuokoe, mtuokoe. Sasa shoka ya kutoka barabarani ikifika I want to ask every one of us to give our Kenya National Highway and all the roads agencies a maximum support to make sure that our people are going to operate safely. But here is the rider. We as the ministry will provide access to markets that will be a few distance away from the road. For example, to be on Ghana Governor Wenu, amesema in that very spot penye hii accident ilifanyika atanunua ile shamba iko karibu na hapo wajenge soko kena itahakikisha kuna barabara ya drive through ile watu wataki kutoa gari zao bado wata slow they will drive through wanunue maindi kwa market wa drive to the other end washike highway waundoke so because we care about the hustlers and this one will take time. We will implement this directive in not less than six months, but not more than the next one year. We will get all our people operating from road so that we save this disaster. Your Excellency, just imagine. Ile bus ilikuwa inaenda ya ilipata accident ya Mombasa, ya Technical University. Ilienda ikaingia karibu kangemi market. Just imagine if it was a trailer na imekuja kangemi market jumamosi saa kumi. na iende kwa hiyo speed yenye ilikuwa nayo iroll kwa watu kwa kangemi market we will lose more than 300 400 500 people we need to make sure that our roads are safer and we will make sure that we support the dg of kenya is here and kenya is here we will make sure we provide for you the access roads the three uh, your excellency is that we will the, 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 the other thing about the market is that governor should not tell us that oh atuna pesa it doesn't have to be your money you can strategically identify the land license an, an investor watch ajenge the markets and recoup their benefits by people leasing the space wafanye biashara yao hapo so money is not the issue and i know your excellency because you have talked to me personally wewe mwenyewe now we are in, in charge of all these county government intergovernmental relations. We will turn this idea to succumb the agenda for intergovernmental the council of governors to make sure that this issue is resolved. Number three, Your Excellency, is that we will ensure that all the vehicles are inspected, and we will ensure that we review the frequency of inspection of these vehicles. But most importantly, I don't want to divulge the information. So many details. But the preliminary report to Mepata kwa hii lori ilianguka hapa ni kwamba ilikuwa na shida hata huko Rwanda penye ilikuwa inafanya kazi. Lakini how it was allowed iendelee kukuja namna hiyo, I don't know kwa nini ilifanyiwa hivyo. Lakini sasa I am going for a meeting next week ya my colleagues kwa Rwanda tutahakikisha kwamba we harmonize ESC inspection and driver licensing standards so that this applies kwa barabara zote highways in the ESC region. Your Excellency, we also want to ensure that all these vehicles, public transport vehicles in the fullness of time, we implement the existing standard of fitting anti-bars uh, uh, on the PSV vehicles. We want to also to make sure that we review the designs of the runway ramps by adding loose soil, sand ETC. Ukiwana jenje tumefanya kwa salga, lori ki in most countries, Lori kiteremuka na wananchi wameniambia kwa social media kwa wapi kila mahali wameniambia kwa mteremko zote we, man, we want to put make sure that runaway ramps imewekwa Lori ikiona imeteremuka na iko na shida in many countries and okay, already we have a small one in Salga unakubaliwa unatengenezewa a place yenye ukiona brakes imezama unapanda hapo na inawekwa mchanga na inawekwa sand so the lorry will, will uh, perhaps be able to stop there I know many Kenyans want bumps everywhere, but to taweka bumps only where our experts will have allowed us to do. That is why your bump, pengine hata your bump inge kwe meweko hapo, your lorry inge endalea kukimbia, perhaps inge anguka outside the, 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 the town itself. 
We have already mapped out the black spots. I want to thank the uh, majority leader was talking about here, Bambo, your cameras. Your Excellency, we are almost done with the evaluation of the tender for fitting cameras in our roads. Before the end of this year, Your Excellency, a number of sports in the country will already have speed cameras. It is not theory. It's something that we worked on immediately. We arrived. And it's not just cameras alone. Tutakuwa na camera na instant finds. Wewe ukishikwa na camera umemulikwa, umeenda speed, pesa, pesa, eh, message yako inatumwa kwa SMS ya simu yako na inakuambiwa, unakuambia unadaiwa elfu kumi, kemwa, ke, eh, badaya unadaliwa another elfu kumi, eh, ukiongeza another elfu kumi, tukiona wewe ni mkora unazidi sana, tunatoa license yako auta kwa kwa barabara tena. Hiyo ndiyo mutakuwa mnapambana na ayo. Mutakuwa mnapambana na technology. Mta niona, mutaona tu camera maali inakupeleka maali yenye unafaa kupelekwa. We are also want to make sure that your excellency, road marks, markings and signage are part of construction. We are giving directions that all road tenders, itakuwa na road markings and road signage, lakini also at the same time, road maintenance will also maintain the road signage and road markings. Pedestrian crossings to implement na tutahakikisha stakeholder engagement imewekwa. Nyinyi watu walondiani. Si kwamba ni blame wale wame wame, wame rest. Lakini simulikuwa na mkutano 23rd of May na watu ya Kenya. Si walikubaliana na nyinyi wakasema watu watoke soko. Lakini you know this conversation we have it nobody wants to listen to it because until a disaster happens. I don't think pastor I agree with you. I don't think I agree with you kwamba we must take an ultimate, you know, decision ya kusema, kama lazima tu nikue hapo, kwa sababu lazima ni, if all the traders, all, are removed in all the roads, the customers will follow them. You know? If we, as Kenya, for example, say all the roads tutasongeshwa kando, mwenye alitaka kununua maindi, bado atasimama hapo kando anunue maindi, it is the demand we are creating Kwa kukimbiza hii eh, eh, products kwa barabara, ndi inatuletea shida. I want to request us, tukiambiwa tufanya hivi, tusaidiane pamoja kwa kikisha kwamba tumefanya hivyo. Your Excellency, I don't want to say more than that. I want to request our wananchi. There are many other directives, but I just wanted to highlight those ones. I want to all ask our wananchi. Jameni. Jameni. Tusaidiane. Mutu anapanda piki piki ati ni boda boda. Anaingia juu yake na anaona mwenye anaendesha ni mlevi. Anaona mwenye anaendesha ajampatia yeye helmet. Anaona mwenye anaendesha anaendesha kwa mwendo wa kazi. Lakini anamwambia eh, twende 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 haraka pita pita pitia huyo. Matatus. Wewe umeingia matatu unaona ni kama huyu driver ni mlevi. Na ni kama ana overtake vibaya anaenda Nairobi. Lakini wewe unasema ah, leo tuliingia matatu ya maana sana. Anajua kupita penya penya. Hata kukafinga Nairobi mapema. Please, ndugu zangu. Na mwisho wa accident nikisemekana wanasema na waziri alikuwa wapi. Na wewe mwenye ulikuwa hapo ulikuwa wapi. We need to take responsibility as citizens also to make sure that we take uh, uh, vehicle uh, safety, our own safety even more seriously. We are also saying we will test all the drivers. Tumefanya exam you to your drivers, your excellency, awajui. Kumbe mtu alikuwa naendesha tractor, anarudi barabara, anatuanga. Ukimuambia hii sign na manisha nini ajui. We have said we will test all the drivers and you will be given license back if only you are going to take your test even more seriously. Your excellency, I don't want to say more than that. I know that you have given me a job and you want me to perform. I want to do my best to do so. But I also rely on your support because you are a mutu ya kazi. Wewe unasukuma kazi. Nisaidia kusukuma hii message. Kwanza hii message ya accident. Kwa nini tupotese 5 million, 5,000 people every year. We need to find a way of making sure that we stop this behavior that happens in our roads. For the people of Londiani hapa, nilikuja hapa juzi, nika promise. Na tumekubaliana na watu ya Kenya. Hii hospitalienu ya Londiani. Uh, Tuliongea na governor. We are going to under our CSR program to saidia ku donate one ambulance ya kusaidiana kwa hiyo hospitali. Kwa ayo na mengi, your excellence, kuna watu wameomba mambo ya highway. Highway sinyumu najua tunendelea kuongea.
kutoka Rironi, Mausamit, Eldoret, Malaba na Mombasa, Nairobi. Nyinyi mko tayari kulipa toll. We are all ready to pay the toll, isn't Because at the loan, loan ya kutoka hapa na atakubadia loan ya ya pesa hiyo. Unaka mambo ya loan. Nyinyi mzia maliza loan. We have agreed that it is better to toll our roads and construct good roads. If it will take me three hours to talk to Nairobi and end the Eldorate, and I leave extra 1,000 or 2,000, we are going to make sure that we do so. I will come back to the public again, and I will tell you because the process is an advanced stage, Mungu akipenda, kabla ya January, February, March next year, Tutakuwa tumeanza kujenga barabara hiyo kutoka Nairobi mpaka Eldoret, mpaka Malaba, mpaka Mombasa, mpaka huko eh, Nakuru kupitia wale wadhamini wanataka kushikana na sisi kuhakikisha hiyo barabara ifanywe mbele. Asanteni sana na Mungu awafariji.